So this video covers some basics of Kanban, a really popular topic in Lean. But before I dive in, let me mention if you're interested in a free Lean Six Sigma white belt certification course, you can access one at sixsigmasociety.org. So Kanban helps to address inventory waste and it uses this concept called just-in-time inventory, getting inventory just when we need it, not too soon and not too much, so we reduce that waste. So it talks about in Kanban these two inventory management techniques, one good, one bad. So pushing is where we're producing lots of inventory, usually in large batches, and it results in lots of waste. We've got a lot left over, and we've got to pay to store that somewhere. Now pulling is what Kanban seeks, and it's where we're only producing when it's needed. We want to have things just in time. And then we often wait for a demand signal, a Kanban, before we produce anything. So in Kanban, materials cannot be pulled without a Kanban signal. We wait for that. So Kanban signals can be physical or they can be electronic. Now in the past, physical cards initiated requests and they're still used, just not as often. So here's an example of a Kanban. So you'd use this when you need additional materials and you'd wait until that uh, was received now but nowadays inventory is often managed electronically so materials are often tagged with barcodes and when scanned it triggers notifications so you know what's left or what's been used up and that you need to replace that and replenish those items so internal and external suppliers can see the need based on this system of electronic data exchange now it should be mentioned here that kanban is also being applied to knowledge work so there's this thing called Kanban boards that are being applied as part of the Agile movement. And what happens is that cards are moved on boards to show task status, and it visualizes work and promotes efficient flow. So oftentimes on these Kanban boards, not always, but you have a column that shows you what's not started, what work is in process, and what's been complete. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more, don't forget to check out the free Lean Six Sigma certification course at sixsigmasociety.org.